One possession for the Kings already. One turnover. A great start for them. Adam Black wouldn't be happy about that. Simon Curl loads up and knocks down a three. I know it's extreme. This is Jason Cameron. Hands it back to Simon Curl. Busy as ever. Off the glass. Simon Curl. Simon Curl is so tough. He's talking to the referee. Wanted a bit of a bump and a foul on that play, but he's tough on his second move, his initial move, and then he spins or goes between his legs, and that's when he's really tough. Yet another the Suns. A scoring spree early on. Dow buys some Kings turnovers. Curl now at the top of the two-way again over Cameron Dickinson. Wow. Wow, that was an excellent shot. Simon Curl will usually shoot the shot if he's open or looks to take people off the dribble and usually penetrate and draw D. Kevin yeah. got such a high release. That's a good shot for him. Spoke to him after the Perth game. He doesn't mind it when he has pressure on him because he's six foot five and shoots the basketball at the peak. Curl trying to thread the needle to Clarence Tyson. Goes out of bounds off the Townsville Sun hand. And that's where he is so dangerous. He's so methodical and patient when he backs his opponent down and when the double team comes he can find the open guy so well this had a little bit too much on that one Clarence Tyson couldn't handle it Bill now getting a screen from Tyson off the glass the whistle blows for a foul Nice drive again. This is Simon Curl. As you see, Melvin Thomas leaning forward, trying to get a little bit of a bump on Simon Curl to throw a shot off. You can see it from another angle. Goes hard left past Dickinson. And that's where the contact on the scoreboard in a much healthier position. Curl waits at the charity strike. Well, as Simon goes to the line, let's look at some of, some of the statistics that the Suns have compiled so far in the year. They're shooting 52% from the field. In the preseason, they shot 58%, so it's not a fluke. They've been shooting the basketball extremely well for a good number of games. Bill now nine points to lead all scorers. That margin is five as some pressure. Well, the Kings don't want to run recklessly, but they're doing a good job at pushing the basketball and getting the ball into their low post player, Bruce Bolden. Curl with the arching, leaning shot. Burton now, around Mitchell, he'll get it. And that's what you gotta like about Aaron Traher. Even though he hasn't been shooting the basketball well, he's never looked hesitant on a shot. We are tied up, a 20 apiece until that little finger roll from Simon Curl. What a first quarter he's having. And what a pickup for them. I know Cameron Dickinson averaged 20 for them last year. But he has been able to dribble the basketball, create his own shots, and we have a word with him at halftime. Kruger now under some pressure himself. Got it to Curl. Trying to drive the lane. Got it to Tyson. Gets the ball to roll in for him. Jason Cameron to Simon Curl for three. That is good. Alan Black said you got to be aware of Simon Curl. He's shooting the basketball extremely well. King's not communicating in that zone to be aware of where the shooter is. They're doing whatever they want, whenever they want to do it, late in the first quarter and now. Curl driving around everybody. Makes it with the left hand. He wanted a foul call there. He is absolutely kniving the Kings up in the first game, scoring over 20. He looks like he's on a 30-plus game tonight. Games of 97. Rucker now. Back to Curl. Bumping off from Traher and then makes it. He is having one heck of a basketball game. Penetration. Now Simon Curl has gotten that in his basketball game. Takes it that extra dribble into the paint and draws the defense. Make sure they come all the way. Curl for three. And it goes. Drop though as Thomas hits the floor and then Whitehead in turn. Has a little lay down on the pine, and here's Curl all the time in the world again. He won't miss that, I'll tell you. Well, he hasn't missed too many. 26 points in the first half. 10 of 14 from the field. 4 of 7 on those downtown jump shots. He's having a blinder. 
they're almost Shane Hill like numbers. He's on fire. Simon spent some time with the hammer in Minnesota where it was considerably colder than it was back here during the summer. Under Cameron. Quickly they work it. Five seconds on the shot clock. Curl up against her hair. He draws the foul. Now that is a tough move to make. You're back to the basket. He just feels you with his body. And just seems to get on your hip consistently throughout the basketball game. And he is one guy that you don't want to have your body up against. He just feels where you are and he goes the opposite way. He's under control. You, it's tough because you can't double team him because he's such a good passer. And obviously they haven't been able to come up with an answer for him because the man's got 28 big ones in the first half. I hope there's plenty of ink in the pen as we head towards things. Bruce Bolden steady as usual with 12. Matty Nielsen, great Great support coming off the bench for him with eight. Also seven rebounds going with that. Cameron Dickinson in limited time has seven. Melvin Thomas with six. And here's the story of the game. Simon Curl with 28 points in the first half. Derek Rucker only three of 10 from the field for his 11. Clarence Tyson with 10. And Tony D hasn't been doing a whole lot, only has two. Those four scorers there, we haven't gone short on the graphics. They are the only four scorers at halftime for the Townsville Suns. Curl with 28, Tyson with 10, Rucker. Curl gives it back to Rucker. The Suns down by 12. Curl now. Won't miss that. Now he's 5 of 9 from outside the three-point line. Has 31 points in the game. 11 of 16 shooting. Thomas almost gets it to drop. Gets his own rebound and puts it back in for the two. A good hustle by Melvin Thomas. On this end of the floor, if Simon Curl's defender, I believe it was Cameron Dickinson, gets hung up on a screen, they've got to get some help. The man's got 30 points. The Ambrosis. They work it to Rucker. Here is the hot hand. Around a leaning jumper under the armpit of Cameron Dickinson. If you or you let him take another tough shot, because if he pulls up on that one, that would have been another tough shot. Pass the curl from the corner. Thomas got a touch in it, but it still manages to go for Simon Curl. What a game! 35 points, and we're still eight minutes and 50 seconds away from the three-quarter time break. Well, even if he's missed a shot, it's kind of trickled out. He hasn't, he has been right on target the entire night. Well, trying to get over there on the help defense from the wing, just a little bit too late. Foul trouble may be the only way to stop Simon Curl. Burton misses with the attempted three. Curl now pulls up outside, finds Tyson. Left all alone underneath the hoop. Margin, which was 13, now back to nine. Rucker threw up the long-range shot. Curl does likewise. That looked good from the moment it left his hand. And also a good job by his teammates to deliver the basketball to the man who's hot. Remaining in the game. The Ambrosis. Here's Curl. Trying to get around Burton. Turns it to Jason Cameron. And he fouls for the Kings here in the fourth quarter. Four for the Sun. This one could well be decided from the free throw line. Curl driving through traffic. Got it to Tyson. Works some magic right there. And Simon knows that he's going to get a lot of attention because he's put in a bucket load of points. Draws the D and spoon feeds Clarence Tyson for the deuce. Cameron. To Kruger. Curl trying to get past Dickinson. Got it to Tyson again. He is killing the Kings. Talking about Simon Curl. Another penetration and dish and just hands it to Clarence Tyson. How, how often do you see a basket that easy at this level? Hardly ever. Game. Simon Curl, 40 points, six assists. Most of the game by anybody. 
Tyson looking for Curl. Burn almost plucked it out of thin air. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Rucker back out to Curl with plenty of room, and he oh, makes it. Oh, please. Ooh, Derek Rucker picking up his fifth assist. But more importantly, game on the line. Curl hits a bomb. He's either handing it to somebody for a score. He's had three. Kruger. Jason Cameron looking for Curl. Watch closely by Burton and Dickinson. Here he is, works in the open space, and booyah! How on earth the man with 45 points just come off a double screen without anybody recognizing his man was caught on the double? Oh. 1.2 seconds left. I guess he didn't want 50. It was going to be some theory. 49 points for Simon Curl. He misses out on the half century as Aaron Traher avoids everybody. And the Sydney Kings wrapping up their second victory of the season. Four-point winners over the Townsville Suns here at the Kingdom. 112 to 108, the final scoreline. What a game by Simon Kill to have 49 points for the Suns. But they were outgunned in the final quarter by the men in purple. As you see the top scorers in this basketball game, Isaac Burton had a quiet 29 for the Sydney Kings to lead the way for them. Bruce Bolden was steady with 18. Melvin Thomas hit some clutch shots for the Kings when the Townsville Suns were making their run late in the third quarter and then the fourth. Cameron Dickinson got it going a little bit there early in the basketball game in the second quarter, hit a couple of shots. Aaron Traher with 15. Simon Curl, the man of the hour, or the couple of hours where we watch this basketball game, 49 points, 18 of 26 from the field, 69% from there, 8 of 12 from three-point range, 5 of 6 where he missed that free throw just at the end of the basketball game, 6 assists, what a basketball game for them, and that was just about it for the town. Brisbane to get an early break on them, and they really had to do a lot of work to reel them back in. That's a nice move from Simon Curl as he penetrates and banks two off the glass. Good patience, too, by Townsville as they work their system and get Simon Curl on a roll. A percentage play, but now they get a new 30-second shot clock. Curl penetrates, dishes to Cameron, firing over the top of Sapwell. Yes! To a block from Grant Kruger. He keeps it alive as well. And Simon Curl with a little theatrics. Rucker inside for Tony Diambrosis. Had his problems, has to retreat to Curl. Now Jason Cameron firing for three. Yes! Cameron, June 93. Oh, they headed for another famous victory. Costa enjoying our coverage right around Australia on Fox, the only place to see the NBL live. And Simon Curl salutes the crowd as he buries two more. Five-point lead as we count down the final 60 seconds of this contest. Many of those medium-range jump shot, all money. Simon Curl will go to the hoop. Good drive. Darnell Mee who's one of the better shots. Another offensive weapon. Randy Rutherford gives a nice feed into Zorner. He steps back, skips it to Simon Curl, who's deep. Bang. Simon Curl from the scorer's bench. Man, that was a bomb. Against the Sydney Kings, he was shooting 51% from the field, and 52 outside the arc. Simon Curl is fighting the range from the land of plenty. Yeah, he gets free, he comes up and sets the up screen on the big man trailing, and either you switch that thing or the big guy fights through it, but when you got a shooter of Simon Curl's caliber, you got to hug his hip and get, make sure you are right on him because the back screener is usually the guy open for this. Gives Adelaide a two-point lead as the first quarter begins to wind down. Halliwell, he'll try and turn the corner, can't. Simon Curl have to launch one off just as the shot clock goes off. And it's good. Got it off before the shot clock went off. Of course, the rule is, if it goes in, it counts. If it misses, then it's a shot clock violation, regardless of who gets the rebound. So you don't need Gary Fox to tell you. I'll tell you yes. the rules. Mate, Simon, four for four from the field, two for two from the three-point line. He is just add water, instant offense, as is Kevin Brooks. Exactly, Kevin Brooks. 
as the Hooter goes off to end the first quarter. He's showing you his skills left and right. Stutter step, crossover dribble, bang for three. Adelaide take a three-point lead into the quarter break, 23 to 20 here on Fox. Well, not a bad game here for the Brisbane Bullets. I'm sure if they thought they were going to be just down by three points to the Adelaide 36ers a few weeks ago who were looking invincible a couple of weeks ago. But it looks like, they look like they have a couple of chinks in their armor after a loss and getting out-rebounded last night to the Sydney Kings. Yeah, well, that's the that's the surprising stat. And uh, so far, the rebounds are, you know, Brisbane's doing the job there. They've got, you know, you got to look at offensive rebounds when you look at total rebounds because those are usually the ones that are most telling. But... You know, being down by three, shooting 57% to 38 for Adelaide, things are looking good. And the question is, is the, the lack of depth for Brisbane, are they going to be able to sustain it throughout the next three quarters? Let's check out the top scorers in this basketball game. Thus far, Simon Curl had the hot end early. He's in double figures with 10. Zorner with four, Wheeler with three, Barlow with two, and Kahari Jackson, I like saying that name, he picked up one. But he had four turnovers to go with that. He's got to pick, he got to turn that one around. Brett Marr has seven. Kevin Brooks with seven. Darnell Mee has a three. Nashy with two. And Mark Davis came off the bench to pick up two. These guys are very deep. But their star player this year has been Darnell Mee on a team full of stars. And watch him, that hesitation dribble. Get Simon, Simon's got to be out there. You got to have him for both the threat and, and, and the productivity. And he has proven this year to really be one of the offensive superstars in this league. That's been out of uh, need. They're burping the ball up way too much, though. Interior target for Brisbane. I mean, then you're relying all on your perimeter guys. And this kid has done a great job with it. Simon Curl gets Darnell Mee off balance. Good job by Simon Curl creating space for himself with a very good defender on him. That'll be a block. Barlow. <laughs> Play your best D, foul me, and it's still, you know, in your face. Curl thought about giving Halliwell an interior feed. Decides to work it from the outside. Curl gets a look. He had to take some of the arch off of that one as he was falling away. Jeez, man. He, uh... Got to, got to get some plays. You got to get him shots. You know, he needs the ball in his hand. Reeves looked like he had a layup, turned it down. Wheeler pulls down a board. Smallest man in the league pulls that one down. Curl has another look. Yes. Sci-fi. He's on. The water has been added. 17 points, 7 for 8 in the field, 3 for 3 from the three-point line. That's pretty efficient. Darnell Mee almost coughs the basketball up. Basketball game. With Simon Curl. Some tough shots. Trying to get them a little bit closer going into the halftime break. He goes again. Darnell Mee picks up another foul. Personal foul number three. Now, things are starting to get interesting because Mee doesn't guard him. Simon Curl, that is. He could really do some damage. Top shot by Simon Curl. Gets to the basket and scores just before the halftime hooter. Simon Curl in his own as they take some positive play into the halftime break. It's the Brisbane Bullet. Be done after the break, and we're going to have some more live basketball right here on Fox. See you then. He has. They could run that set all day, every day. Here we get a chance to look at Simon Curl stepping back off that. I tell you what, they're going to have to climb into his singlet with him because he is feeling it. Nine for ten. There's another look at Darnell. I mean, they could run. We get a chance to look at Rutherford going to the hoop. He's got to get off. We said that he's only had four shots in the first half. Somebody else is going to have to get things happening for him. So, I mean, uh, if, if it's not going to be Rutherford, I don't know who else it could possibly be. For play, it's the Adelaide 36ers who have 10 from Brett Maher and Darnell Mee with nine. But the team, the player, everybody should be trying to think about how they're going to stop is Simon Curl with 22. He's leading the way for the Brisbane Bullets, and I have the man who has the answers on how to stop Simon Curl. 
Yeah, Bill Smythe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he had an exceptional patch there where he hit uh, three big three pointers for them. But uh, I mean, overall, the game goes that way. We had a little run, they had a run, and it's going to be a good second half. Are you surprised that the Brisbane Bullets trying to catch the Adelaide 36ers and trying to give them a rude double loss? And this is our key matchup and how these guys are shaping up. And Simon Curl, boy, did he get hot in the second quarter. He was pretty hot in the first quarter. Look at those stats. Bruce, he is on fire. Uh, that's near perfect. I mean, uh, that, and, and, you know, those haven't just been spot up, you know, receive and shoot. That's been creating stuff off the dribble. And I tell you what, you don't want him to come out, even to let him play tired, because without him, then the offense does a free fall. Well, Brent Maher has been no bum either. Look at those numbers, four for seven at 57%. He's perfect outside the three-point line. No turnovers and assists. Hasn't picked up a board, but neither is Simon Curl. These guys are having a good game. He's just been outshined by that man right there with the pretty snazzy do, Simon Curl, having a great basketball game. So far, so good. You watch Darnell Mee is going to be probably on him like a glove, and they'll have uh, Brett Mark and can uh, kind of rest play defense with his hands in his pockets if he's going to curl. I was impressed by Simon Curl's patience in that first half as he picked up all those points. He really was picking and choosing his spots as Mark Nash picks up his spot. It quit. Barlow gets the steal and Simon Curl finishes the turnover off. Five Brisbane. points. Exactly. Make it a five point. Kaylee, who's wide open, short on the glass. Kahari Jackson pulls down a big board. Simon Curl has numbers three on two. Loses a handle, but he's fouled by Rupert Sapwell. And Simon, with all that attention, everybody knows where he is out on the floor. And it makes somebody else beat him. This time he's got me on him. He turns the corner, does a good job of getting to the hoop. Just as the shot clock buzzer went off. Curl did a good job to the hole. We've seen a lot of nice runners tonight. Out of their spirits a little bit. Zagetti, he's got a medium range J that never quite got there. Curl's got a long one. He hits it. Three in the first half, managed to get eight, especially late in that basketball game as Brisbane made their run. Randy Ruff